Okay, so I am going to go over um, inline cuff monitoring, inline suction, aerosol, and MDI. So I have my ET tube here, my suction, and then all of my medication adapters over here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is check my patient's cuff pressure. Um, so we have these little disposable cuff manometers because we've broken all of our other ones here. So I just go to my little pilot one, which is nicely inflated, which tells me that my cuff is. And you just push this onto here. Um, and this little green float, this little float will kind of go between the green and the red. So if I push this all the way down, then I've inflated it too much, and it's now into the red. So I can take some air out of it until I'm back into the green, and that tells me that my cuff has a good pressure. The next thing that I'm going to do is suction my patient. So, of course, I would have this connected to my wall suction. I'd test it a few times, make sure that it is suctioning, it's not locked like this. Um, make sure that it's suctioning. You want to make sure to hold. You want to have a firm grip on the little Y here, so your ventilator that's coming in, and then the suction, so just nothing disconnects while you're suctioning. And then you just slowly just slide the suction in. You're going to tell your patient big cough. You're going to go until they gag and cough. Squeeze your suction and suction on the way out. And make sure you come all the way out till this black line right here that's kind of hard to see. You can just see it is all the way past where your ventilator um, connects. Otherwise, you'll be blocking and obstructing it. You'll also want to um, probably mute the alarms on your ventilator before you suction just because it will go off because it's saying you have an airway obstruction. Um, so then the next thing that I'll do is my inline MDI. So I have a little, it's kind of hard to see, MDI adapter right here that goes right in line with your vent circuit. You just take the cap off. I have my medication and you pop this off and it goes right on top here, and then you just push it down for one puffs, two puffs, however many puffs that you have to give your patient. And then just stick it back in here so you have your counter going and making sure that you're counting how many puffs you're giving your patient so you don't run low. The next thing that I have is my inline aerosol. So you have a little adapter. This connects to your ventilator and this piece is where you put in the medication. It just opens up like this. And I have this thing called an aerogen. You just connect this gray piece right in here. Push the power. And you can see my medication coming out here. And so you just want to make sure that you don't leave the room, you don't leave your patient till this cup is completely empty. So that way you know that your patient got all of the medication that they needed, and that's it.